hello and welcome so selenium 4 is coming and this was a major announcement that happened in the selenium conference that happened in india june 2018 and selenium 4 will be released on christmas of 2018 so what are the main highlights so now web driver will be a w3c standardized web driver and we will see what that means we will be having a improved selenium grid a new selenium ide which will be available on chrome and firefox and we already have a alpha version available we will be having a better support for docker and kubernetes and then we will be having a lot lot better observability and monitoring capacities in selenium a new and improved documentation and a new website for selenium and we will also see what can we do with the existing selenium scripts to use with selenium 4 so the very first thing is now we will be having a w3c standard web driver and this means that web driver will be able to communicate directly with the browsers and because now it is w3c standard so every browser will have compatibility with web driver and there will be no json via protocol needed and you can go to this website which is for w3 dot org web driver and you can find all the details and all the changes and updates happening to web driver here the next big change is going to happen uh, over selenium grid and we know selenium grid is something that we can use to run our test in parallel on multiple infrastructure and there was a lot of uh, change and improvement needed so now we will be having selenium grid with a new and improved refactored code simpler and efficient and we will be having a much much more improved ui so you can see the current ui is not very good so we will, we will be having a very good new ui for selenium grid a better support for docker and kubernetes so this is all what we are going to see in selenium grid the next big thing is selenium ide so People who have been using selenium since many years they have missed selenium ide it was something that we used a lot and it was uh, something like the very first interaction with selenium and it was not maintained and it was not updated so now we are going to have a new selenium ide and it will be available both on chrome and firefox an alpha version is available right now it will be having a new plugin system you will have a new command line runner we can do parallel runs and there will be web driver playback as well so it is an alpha stage and you can see it on the official selenium blog as well so if you go to the official selenium blog which is seleniumhq.wordpress.com you can see this was a blog written on august 6 2018 and you can see now the selenium id is coming as a new version the next big change is now we will be having a new and improved documentation so if you go to the documentation for selenium you will see this new site and it will be a very clean and very useful documentation you will find all the major um, updates and all the major highlights here and here you can see web driver selenium rc ide grid html runner everything will be available here in a very neat and clean manner so this is going to be very useful and we are going to have a new improved website for selenium which is seleniumhq.org we know the selenium hq org which looks like this as of now so if i go to selenium hq org this is our current website for selenium and now it is going to be changed and redesigned and we will be having something like this coming soon so what to do with the existing selenium scripts so they will not be a lot of change required your existing selenium scripts or code will work with selenium 4 and it is just that if some libraries are deprecated you will see them deprecated and that will mean that these libraries are going to be removed in the next release so you can change or update that but as um, mentioned in the selenium conference the changes are going to be very very minimal or no changes required so do not worry your existing selenium scripts will work with selenium 4 and here are some pages that you can see this is the official github page for selenium where you can uh, see the changes coming and this is web driver implementation report and these links are will be very useful i will provide all these links in the description of this video and also there will be a link for the selenium conference that you can watch so selenium 4 is going to be released on christmas of 2018 we are very excited to see the changes i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching